Hey everybody, this is Ernie. I'm the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sawyer Public Library. And today I'm going to show you how to use the mobile printing print from home service that we have at the library. Uh, it's very easy to use, so I'm just going to take you through the few steps uh, needed to get that done. So basically all you're going to be doing is sending the, the document that you need printed to the printer through email. So we're just going to do it on my phone right here as an example. So uh, you're just going to want to open up your phone and you're going to want to go into the email service that you use uh, likewise if you're on a desktop at home you're just going to want to open up your your email I use Gmail so I just go into my Gmail account here uh, then you're just going to compose a new message start a brand new email uh, it, it's kind of easy to start out just by attaching the file that you want to attach first pretty much every email service for the attachment function is going to have a paperclip uh, Gmail's is up here uh, various other services or different places but it's all pretty universally that paperclip icon uh, once you hit that you tap attach file and now you basically just look for the file that you're wanting to attach it can be a PDF it can be a photo it can be pretty much anything any sort of file type that you can attach that can be printed out on the printer so once you choose one to be printed out uh, then you're going to send it to the printer so there's a couple of different email addresses depending on how you want it printed out there's PSPLcolor at printspots.com and PSPLBW at printspots.com. And that just depends on if you want to print it out in color or black and white. Uh, it's a quarter page for color, 10 cents for black and white, so it's really just up to you and uh, what you need printed out. So, for instance, I've already sent it a couple of times from this phone, so I would just go to PSPLcolor at printspots.com. Uh, no need for a subject or anything like that and then you just send it to the print so that's it it'll stay there in the print queue for 24 hours and the next step is just to go to the print station at the library and so once you've sent your document to the printer you'll just come to the print release station here at the library it's located by the personal computers uh, on the screen here you're going to want to click to uh, on release a print job once you tap there this is where you would put your library card number, but since you're printing a document from email, here you'll go to where it says email address, and you'll just put in your email address. Once that's in, uh, it will show you everything that's been sent to the printer from that email address that you put in. You'll just select what you want to print out, hit print, and then pay for the job. So it's 25 cents for color. 10 cents for black and white. Once you pay for the job, the print job will start printing at the printer, and that's really all there is to it. One thing you want to remember is that when it sends an email to the printer to be printed out, there will actually be the text of the email and the attachment. So you want to make sure that you print out the attachment, such as a JPEG or a PDF, and not the email as message, which is what it will be named there. And then you'll have your nice photo. And by the way, if you want, you can adopt this cat soon. Thanks.